वॉट इज द ट्रीटमेंट दैट यू विल डू इन चाइल्डहुड हाइपर टेंशन फर्स्टली आप गाइडलाइन से दैट इन चिल्ड्रेन एंड एडोलसेंट्स हुआ डायग्नोज विद हाइपर टेंशन द ट्रीटमेंट गोल विद बोथ नॉन फार्मेकोलॉजिकल एंड फार्मेकोलॉजिकल थेरेपी शुड टारगेट रिडक्शन इन एस बी पी एंड डायस्टोलिक बी पी टू लेस देन नाइनटी एथ सेंटाइल और इन केस ऑफ एडोलसेंट्स अब थर्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज यू शुड भी टारगेटिंग इट लेस देन वन थर्टी सिस्टोलिक लेस देन एट्टी ऑफ डायस्टोलिक राइट right? सो so, ये तो हमारा हुआ ट्रीटमेंट गोल दिस इज द ट्रीटमेंट गोल दैट यू आर गोइंग टू फॉलो नाउ व्हाट आर द ट्रीटमेंट्स एक्चुअली दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डू द फर्स्ट लाइन ट्रीटमेंट इन चाइल्डहुड हाइपरटेंशन इज ऑलवेज लाइफस्टाइल मॉडिफिकेशन एंड डाइटरी चेंजेस इट इज द मेन स्टे ऑफ थेरेपी फॉर चिल्ड्रन हु आर हैविंग ए सिम्टोमेटिक माइल्ड हाइपरटेंशन विदाउट एविडेंस ऑफ टारगेट ऑर्गन डैमेज यू विल गिव अ डाइट व्हिच इज रिच इन फ्रेश फ्रूट्स वेजिटेबल्स एंड controlled way you will use the da dairy products and less sodium should be used when you say less sodium we simply say your diet contains enough sodium whatever sodium we add is actually a habitual thing that 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 has happened to us so we ask the parents to gradually reduce sprinkling of sodium and processed foods because all these processed foods they will have sodium based preservatives so simply by avoiding sprinkling of common salt and avoiding fast foods you can reduce the total sodium intake in the child by as much as 50 to 60% right so and we always advise we counsel the parents is we don't say uh, don't reduce sodium in the diet for the child we say incorporate low sodium diet for all family members because then it will be easy to comply you, you try to understand try to see the whole picture the entire family is eating chips the entire family is uh, you know eating a diet of uh, pakoras or fries which are you know uh, filled with uh, sprinkled with extra salt and extra masala and you are asking the kid a kid is a kid you are asking the kid beta you are not supposed to eat that is wrong end of the day high sodium affects everyone unless you have a endocrine dysfunction reducing nobody says stop it but reducing sodium in the diet is something which is a good healthy habit and if the entire family does it it is easier for the child also to do it and it takes time but it is something which is of, of uh, you, you can say first line therapy not only first line therapy even if the child is on drug therapy the response to drugs is improved if the child is put on a low sodium diet then there is a dash diet dash stands for dietary approaches to stop hypertension these are specialized diets for which nutritional advice can be taken they can be used and uh, you should allow good amount of activity A lot of people are of the opinion that child is having hypertension i will not ch send my child to you know uh, sports etc actually moderate physical activity helps in reducing bp and it is the first line therapy so according to american academy of pediatric guidelines there should be moderate to vigorous physical activity 3 to 5 days per week with 30 to 60 minute per session should be needed it can be in the form of jogging it can be in the form of cycling it can be in the form of swimming it can be in the form of child just going out and playing football or cricket so it should be a good amount of physical activity that should be advised and weight loss is the primary therapy in obesity related hypertension now when it comes to pharmacological therapy or the drug therapy the what are the indications first of all if the patient has failed 6 month of lifestyle changes they have adhered to but it has failed second if there is symptomatic hypertension in the patient and thirdly stage 2 hypertension without clearly modifiable risk factors like obesity these are the three indications where drug therapy is indicated so the question arises what are the principles so it is a step wise uh, approach for drug therapy that we use this is the step wise approach once we start with the drug we start with the recommended initial dose of the desired medication we start with the lowest recommended dose then if bp control is not achieved we increase the dose until either the desired bp target is achieved or the maximum dose of that drug is attained in step 3 if still the patient is not under bp control you will add a second mechanism medication with a complementary mechanism what it means is patient already on enalapril you will not add a arb as inhibitor ke sath mein you are adding arb not going to benefit you should consider some other drug you should you can consider diuretics you can consider although not recommended but you can consider uh, beta blockers second line therapy as you will see beta blockers are not the recommended therapy but add on drugs should be the principle is it should be separate it should be different from the initial mechanism what whatever drug that you are using 
in in general practice normally if the patient is on ace inhibitor or arb and maximum dose is attained we go in for adding a diuretic with a complementary function and uh, you proceed to the highest recommended dose if needed and desirable and if the bp control is not achieved you have two options you can add either a third anti hypertensive drug or you can refer the patient to a pediatric cardiologist especially those centers which have a dedicated unit for managing refractory hypertension these children will require ambulatory bp monitoring they will require extensive investigation and uh, rare causes also need to be looked out for so what are the drugs that you will be using first line agents they include ACE inhibitors or ARBs you, or you can use long acting calcium channel blockers or you can use thiazide diuretics. So as I have said clearly beta blockers are not the first line agents in children. In CKD or diabetes ACE inhibitors or ARBs will be the drugs of choice but remember that ACE inhibitors should be avoided particularly in those who are having a bilateral renal artery stenosis. So CKD patients before starting ACE inhibitors getting a renal ultrasound is important.